Hello friends, welcome to my 30 range YouTube channel. In past, I created Samsung Galaxy A0 5S mobile top 10 tips and tricks video. Lot of friends are watching that video. I think that video is very helpful to you. So in this video, I am going to talking about another top 10 tips and tricks on Samsung Galaxy A0 5S mobile. You can watch my past created A0 5S tips and tricks video on my channel. If you are a new visitor on my YouTube channel, you can press the subscribe button and join with our channel. You can watch mobile phone tips and tricks on my channel. Now in this video, let's discuss Samsung Galaxy A0 5S mobile in other top 10 tips and tricks. Ok, let's start. Let's learn how to flash the camera light as notification light. We can flash this mobile camera flashlight as our notification light. When we receive notification, we can blink this flashlight. Let's learn how to enable this feature. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down and go to accessibility option. Click on advanced settings option. In here, you can click on this flash notification option. You can enable this camera flash notification option in here. You can set this camera flash notification for apps manually. Now I select all apps. We can see a preview how it works. Now I click on this preview button. Now when we receive notification on any application, our mobile flashlight going to blink like this. If you want to enable flash notifications, you can enable this second feature, screen flash notification option. If you enable this feature, when you receive notifications, your screen will flash like this. In this method, you can enable camera flash notification option. Let's learn how to hide applications on our Samsung Galaxy A0 5S mobile home screen. You can hide any application on your home screen. Let's learn how to do this. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down and go to home screen option. In here, you can click on this hide apps on home and apps screen option. In here, you can select any application you want to hide. Now I select this game. It's going to hide. Let's check this application on our home screen. Now it's hidden. If I want to unhide this application, again I can go to apps hidden settings and I can unselect this application like this. Now I can view this application on my home screen. In this method, you can hide any application on your home screen. Let's learn how to record incoming and outgoing calls on A0 5S mobile. Some regions are this method working, some regions this method not working. It's depend on your mobile region. Ok, let's learn how to enable this feature. Open your mobile dial pad. After click on this three dots icon on top right corner and go to settings. In here you can view this record calls option. Click on it. You can enable this auto record calls option. Now when you receiving incoming calls or your outgoing calls. All calls are recorded automatically. You can view your record calls recording by click on this recorded calls option. Now this mobile no any call recordings. In this method you can record your incoming and outgoing calls without any third party application. Let's learn how to enable easy mute option. When we receiving calls or when ringing alarms, we can turn our phone face down like this after we can mute them. Let's learn how to enable this easy mute option. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down and go to advanced features option. In here go to motions and gestures option. You can enable this turn over to mute option. Now after the enable this option, when you receiving incoming calls and ringing alarms, you can easily mute them by turning your phone face down. I think this is very good feature to use your mobile easily. Let's learn 
how to add apps button to home screen normally we can open our all applications like this we can set our home screen like this after we can open all applications but we can add apps button to our home screen let's learn how to enable this feature go to your mobile settings scroll down and go to home screen option you can enable this show apps screen button on home screen feature now I come to my home screen. Now you can see apps button on my home screen. Now I can open all applications using this apps button. If you like this feature, you can enable it. Let's learn how to disable recycle bin on your mobile gallery. Normally when we delete a video or photo on your mobile gallery, it's moved to recycle bin. It's not delete permanently. If we disable our recycle bin, after when we delete the photo or file, it's going to delete permanently. Let's learn how to enable or disable this recycle bin. Click on this icon on bottom right corner. After go to gallery settings. In here, you can enable or disable this recycle bin option. Now when you turn off this recycle bin, if you delete a photo or video, it's going to delete permanently. In this method, you can enable or disable your mobile gallery recycle bin. Let's learn how to enable battery percentage on your mobile. To enable this feature, go to your mobile settings, scroll down and go to battery and device care option. Click on this battery option. In here, you can click on this more battery settings. After in this page, you can enable or disable show battery percentage option. In this method, you can enable or disable battery percentage. Now I will tell you another tip. If you want to enable or disable fast charging, you can enable or disable fast charging using this option. If you enable this fast charging, you can charge your phone very fastly. Let's learn how to use application as pop-up view. Now I open some applications. Now I open my Google Play. After you can press your recent key button. Now press your app top middle area this ball icon and click on open in pop-up view option. After you can use this application as pop-up view mode. This is very good feature. You can drag and move this application like this. If you want to do multiple things using this mobile, you can use this pop-up view mode. It is very easy to use on mobile and we can do more things in same time. Let's learn how to enable dark mode. Now this mobile I am using light mode. If you want to use dark mode, you can enable it. You can save your battery and you can get beautiful look on your mobile. Let's learn how to enable this dark mode. First method is go to your mobile settings. Scroll down and go to display option. In here, you can enable light mode and dark mode. Okay, we can select schedule to enable dark mode automatically. Let's learn how to do this. Click on this dark mode settings. After you can turn on this scheduled option and you can set a custom time to enable this dark mode automatically. You can select the start time and end time in here. In this method, you can schedule to enable dark mode automatically. Let's learn second method. Tap your notification bar after you can see dark mode option. If you press this dark mode button, you can enable this dark mode easily like this. Let's learn how to pull down notification bar using display. Normally, we can tap this notification bar using tapping our display middle area like this. Let's learn how to enable this feature. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down and go to home screen option. In here, you can enable this tap down for notification panel option. 
if you enable this feature you can easily set your notification bar by setting your display middle area like this okay in this video i had talked about samsung galaxy s05 s mobile top 10 important tips and tricks if you like this video you can press the like button and you can subscribe our channel for learn more s05 s tips and tricks I have uploaded more tips and tricks on this A05S mobile. You can go to our channel playlist area. After you can see Samsung Galaxy A05S mobile video playlist. It has more tips and tricks videos on this playlist. If you are using A05S mobile or another Samsung mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Okay, let's meet on our next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.